Hey, what's up guys? Your boy Eric from MFC back at it again with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. This is one of my favorite towns of all time. It's so creepy. This is Lavender Town. Oh my god, it's Cubone going up to the Haunted Tower. I remember this as a kid. I was like, why is this town so scary? And why doesn't it have a gym? Because it's one of the only cities that actually doesn't have a gym inside. But my, uh, my rival Gary has uh, ran in there. It's so sick how they remade this song. Before it used to be a little creepier, but they made it a little kid friendly. Anyways, let's go uh, explore this town a little bit. Most of these houses have nothing really in it, just uh, unique stories. But I believe this house has an interesting story because they uh, admit the true story of Cubone. So apparently Cubone is wearing Marowak's face, skeleton or whatever. And then when it evolves, that skeleton evolves into it, which is kind of disgusting. But that is the origins of Cubone and Marowak. So apparently Team Rocket stole uh, stole Marowak, Cubone's mother, and uh, that's how that story goes. So that's why I love this place so much. It's so creepy, so eerie. Even the Pokemon's origin of Cubone and Marowak is crazy. So let's enter the tower. We want scary? We'll get scary. Okay, the first floor shouldn't be that scary. It's where everyone is here. Everyone's visiting the their dead Pokemon. They're all sad and stuff. But trust me, there's a lot of creepy stuff to go. Anyways, let's see what this uh, lady has to say. The Pokemon Tower was... Erected in the memory of Pokemon that passed away. Interesting. What does this guy want? I'm a channeler who can speak to spirits. I sense a lost spirit somewhere high in this tower. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. You can change clothes wherever you want, whenever you want. And uh, it's so sick because they're uh, going to pay respects here. So we're going to be both matching in a, in a suit, but it's going to be all black. We're very respectful in this thing. Okay, and we're ready to go up in this tower here. We're gonna bring my boy Wartortle firmly behind me. And yep, that's uh, as creepy as it gets. We're in a freaking Pokemon cemetery. Bunch of dead Pokemon, more dead Pokemon, more dead Pokemon. Items from people when they dropped and they were crying in front of their dead Pokemon. I'll just steal that. Why not? No Pokemon trainer here. No wild Pokemon so far. My arrival Gary's over there. There's someone sneaking over here. A little creepy. You there. If you wish to know the truth behind the wandering experience haunting this tower, well, even we channelers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool, yes, perhaps a self scope might let one see the truth behind the mystery. Interesting. Maybe that's for later on in the game. All I know is another creepy origin is that apparently Ghastlies are dead Pokemon. They're spirits of dead Pokemon that stayed in this world, and that's a Ghastly. I don't know if that's true, but they try to make this game as creepy as possible. My rival over there. I don't know if he's scared or if he's sad. Hey, if it isn't Eric, but what are you doing here? No way, Eric. Your Pokemon didn't die or anything, right? The frig is this guy, dude? I've killed this guy's Pokemon time and time again. Not fainted. Killed these guys. This guy's asking if my Pokemon died. Are you thinking some sort of joke? Maybe I should check that your Pokemon really are doing well with a battle. And thank God that Pikachu is the first Pokemon because... We're gonna, again, electrocute this flying chicken. No offense to my Pidgeotto, this flying chicken in the air. And that's it, Pidgeotto, done, done in. That's quick, that's one. So my rival Gary threw out Gloom. I summoned Charmeleon, and this guy's gonna do him in. This should be a quick one, another one shot, because the last time when we were on the boat, this guy was trying to embarrass me out here. He was actually fighting well, like that. Putting my Pokemon to sleep, paralyzing them. Dragging on the matches when I have things to do, places to visit, people to see. I swear to God, it's been like four turns. This guy still hasn't woken up. Finally, this guy after four turns has woken up and finally knocked out Gloom. I have to even use a super potion off screen, of course, because we're not going to show that stuff on screen. So Gary's trying to follow in my footsteps and have the starter be an electric type. He is summoning Jolteon. Jolteon, he's evolved his little teeny tiny Eevee. I don't think we can even do that in the game. But I'm gonna knock him out anyway and show my electrical starter is better than his. Though he hit me first. But I'm pretty sure, because I've tried it, that if you used a Thunderstone on Pikachu, he's not evolving. Pikachu denies that stuff. Alright? Even if you have the Eevee game, he's gonna deny that. Somehow, he's evolved his Jolteon. Into his Jolteon, sorry. He's evolved his Eevee into his Jolteon. What a joke. Freaking joke. Can't be carrying a Raichu over my shoulder, apparently. 
Anyways, enough of my rant. I just beat Gary. That was too easy. We bury his Pokemon right into the grave. Right into the grave. Open the casket into the grave. Aw, oh, shoot. When we battle, we scared off that Cubone. I didn't see a Cubone. Anyways, looks like he wants to capture him. Apparently, we have to run up to the higher floors to find it. Oh my god, I'm being kicked out. It looks like a giant haunter to be honest, but... Oh my god, Pikachu's trembling in fear does not want us to take a step forward. Be gone, intruders. Oh my god, it's kicking me out. And there's that creepy music again. Well, we're gonna find out what happened to Cubone, I guess. Because they ran outside, but Jesse and James are chilling outside. And they're looking for Mr. Fuji for some reason. They think he's up in the Pokemon Tower. Oh my god, they spotted me. Oh wait, no. It's a cute bone. He wants revenge for his mother. Well, we couldn't find the old man, but at least we found his cute bone. Let's get it back to our hideout. Oh my god, they're about to thieve this Pokemon. So apparently they have to go to the game corner in Celadon City, which apparently is their main base. Alright, we reached Celadon City. This is crazy. We already have Team Rocket members chilling outside. It's gotta be Team Rocket's main city. Look at the size of that Poliwrath. Look at the size of that. Oh my god, we got a little surprise here. It is Brock, the first gym leader we faced. One of the first friends of Ash in the anime. Apparently, I, we ran into him in this place. He's in Celadon City Gym. Oh my god, keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of the duties, apparently. The girls at the gym also turned me away. That's also a classic Brock thing, always trying to hit up the baddies. Anyways, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. Alright guys, so now we're done with the exploring. Before we face Team Rocket head on and, you know, see their secret base, we're gonna take on the gym leader. What's sick about this gym? Whoa, beside these sick designs. Oh my god. Is that Erica is spelled almost the same way as Eric, my name, so it's actually pretty cool. And that uh, the gym is so hidden. Like, you have to actually use cut and it's like hidden in the background. And then you can go fight the gym. Oh my god, she's just waiting. But there's probably a lot of uh, other traders waiting on the side. So we're gonna train first. We're gonna skip that. And then we face the gym leader. Wow, this is amazing. She's just waiting there. Oh, competition. This whole labyrinth thing is so sick, but we finally arrived to the main gym leader, surrounded by flowers. Eric, 
Meet Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? Yeah, so pleasant to burn down her plant type Pokemon. Oh my god, she fell asleep. What the heck? Oh, she actually did fall asleep. Welcome, my name is Erica. I'm the gym leader. Now, let's get this thing going. Charmeleon's gonna burn everyone down. We're gonna evolve the Charizard. This is one of my favorite gyms as well because I always chose Charizard when I was a kid. And this gym was just so easy to burn everything down. Alright, so this is the fourth gym leader that we'll be facing. We're halfway through the game. He's... Oh my god, Charmeleon's ready for this battle. Alright, we're gonna try to run this entire gym battle with just Charmeleon. Yeah, attempt to burn everyone away. Let's see how this goes. That's Tangela. Peace out, that's one. We'll take on the next one. So she sends out a whipping bell. Oh my god. It's pretty big, actually. And right into your big fat mouth. Oh, no, it still survived. Poison jab. That's a newer move. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Charmeleon's gonna have to survive. He's gonna have to hang on for me. Oh, Charmeleon hangs on for this one Pokemon. Now her final Pokemon's a Vileplume. The uh, final evolution of Oddish and Gloom. Alright, finally we restored his health. He's not poisoned anymore. The final battle. Hopefully we burn this Vileplume away. Oh no, it's still in the green. Oh god. Let's see if Pidgeotto can do a better job at this. Charmeleon couldn't finish the job. Hopefully the Pidgeotto can. Oh my god. Pidgeotto's doing more damage than I would expect. I just got moon blasted. Oh my god. Pidgeotto, you gotta hang on. Hang on. You're a real one for this one. God, it survives! Oh my god, Pidgeotto takes all that damage. Good god. But at least it helps survive just a little bit for Charmeleon to sweep it up, just to clean up this little mess that we had. That's it, Violet Bloom, done. Their plant types, done. And we'll take that gym badge! The rainbow badge! Oh my god, Pikachu with the glasses on! Oh my god, level 50 Pokemon can now listen to me. Though my Pokemon are not that close to it. She's also giving me Mega Drain, that's gonna probably help a lot. Well, that was a quick one. That was pretty sick. A more competitive gym battle than uh, the other ones. Now we're gonna go on and take Team Rocket down! So now we have arrived at the game center here. This is the secret base that Team Rocket has. So all these guys are just betting their money away. There's a Team Oh my god, there's Team Rocket. Jesse, there, come on, almost got it. These guys are gambling. Gambling gangsters. Oh my god. They already had a cube bone to another Team Rocket member. And they just spoiled the entire thing. So pretty much there's a secret, uh, a secret area in the back behind the poster. And that's where their secret base is. And we can finally take on Team Rocket. Let me see if they listen to me. What do you mean? What kind of vehicle is the best way to represent us? You know, those things that blast off into space. Oh, Meowth is just sleeping up there. Yeah, bud, peace out. And Team Rocket is hiding this little poster here. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Well, that's a quick battle. All right, we're going to quickly take down this scumbag. War Turtle should finish the job off here. Oh my god, to the top of the world and peace out, bud. Now we should move him aside, take down the poster, and enter the secret base. So the Team Rocket member has to move aside. Oh my god, he's gonna tell the boss. And I press the hidden switch behind. There it is. And now we enter the secret base.
finally defeated this dweeb and apparently he has the lift key or whatever and that's to uh find giovanni but this guy ran away oh my god this guy threw it on the top look at team rocket chili there as well good god how am i gonna get up there oh my god my character just got an idea i should find something to step on i use the chair this is brand new i've never seen this in the games up you go oh my that's pikachu going up did i really just chuck pikachu up there oh my god he's so excited yes little mouse run through the vents go i'm controlling pikachu what the heck oh my god that's so sick oh my god pikachu's done oh my god run pikachu run run for your life you're so small you're smaller than i expected oh let me run up there oh wait it won't let me wait maybe it will oh my god pikachu be careful don't die oh my god he's chilling in the team rocket uniform and that should be a quick one so we finally got to the lift short-term elevator you know what i mean so that's the floor we're on now this should be the floor we need to go to finally face team rocket head on here we go the secret base is about to be shot right down shut this place right down here we go team rocket head on jesse you're the twerp from mount moon they still remember me that's great team rocket blasting off again no, no, I was gonna press this join Team Rocket because I'm wearing the uniform, but no, no, that doesn't matter. We're gonna go straight into it. They want my fossil. I want to slap them across the faces. Let's get this thing going. Oh my god, they evolved their Pokemon! That's the legendary, classic, Weezing, and Arbok. Oh my god, I forgot it's a double battle. So yes, like shown before, Ivysaur has evolved to Venusaur. Uh, I think actually it should be a good battle. So, actually, we're going to take out Arbok first. It's pretty good because Razor Leaf attacks both. Shouldn't be that effective, but I mean, it's sick that it can attack both. Alright, Pikachu. See what you got. Alright, that's pretty fast. We're taking out his life quick. Oh my god, he survived! Well, that's a critical hit to both. That's so sick. The design, how big these Pokemon are. Venusaur seems kind of small compared to the rest of the Pokemon, but Arbok and uh, Coughing look so realistic. Okay, Pikachu. We're poisoned. Venusaur is paralyzed, but this one should end Arbok's night. Peace out to that one, bud. And let's see if uh, Venusaur can do some damage with his critical hits from Razor Leaf. Oh, I lied. He's taking more uh, damage. And he's paralyzed. Why not? And Pikachu's dying. Why not? gonna nail this guy right down oh he survived hopefully venusaur is not paralyzed this time around he can finish this one quick yeah it's venusaur with a headbutt a firm he couldn't do it for the boys dude he couldn't do it for the boys all right we're gonna sweep it up with a quick attack we're gonna end this match quick hmm, how infuriating that they suck so much just because i'm a teeny teenager apparently oh my god that's Pikachu. Pikachu frightened them. Are you kidding me? They're blasting off again. Let's take on the head of Team Rocket. There's a stolen Cubone. And those goggles should be the self scope. Yeah, that should be the one for uh, the ghost in the tower when we go back. Oh my god, there's the mystery man. But we already know who that mystery man is. The leader of Team Rocket, Giovanni. Time to... Who's this guy? Carry on, Archer. I've never seen this guy before in my life, but it looks like we're going to have to knock him out. What is a child doing here? I slapped their entire crime syndicate. Pikachu, knock him out in one shot. Ready? Let's try this one more time. Try to get poisoned for once in your life, Pikachu. That's what I like to see. That's paralyzed. That's paralyzed. That's my. Oh my god, he's knocked out. He's knocked out. Ready? Oh, oh my god. He knew I was pissed, so he removed the poison out of his system. That's what we're talking, Pikachu. That's why I didn't get Eevee. And you're knocked out. Peace out, bud. Alright, get out of my way, you dweeb. It's time to face the leader of Team Rocket. 
So you defeated Archer. I must say I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader, Giovanni. Oh man, Cubone's sad. Oh, we're gonna battle for Cubone. That's crazy. But for your insolence, you'll feel a world of pain. Oh, you see that freaking emerald on his ring? Jeez. Oh my god, the electricity is sparking in the air. We have a freaking spark, a freaking connection between us. And I thought Gary was my rival. Nah, nah, it's this scumbag. Let's see if we hit him with a Thunderball first, then uh, he can end this match quick. Come on, Pikachu, Thunderbolt! Oh god. Get that guy going. Get that guy off the screen. Let's get it going. Alright, so that's a quick sub off for Pikachu. We're gonna hit this guy with a Firm Scald and end the match. Besides his Persian, it seems like he's using weaker Pokemon. Don't want to spoil ahead for the future, but I did play the original games. Not as tough as I thought it would be, but uh, I think he took it easy on me. So I get to keep Cubone just like that. And he's giving me the self scope because he thinks that I'm a child and... Uh, Oh my god, what is he doing? Oh, he's leaving. But I hope we'll meet and battle again. Anyways, he's giving it to me because uh, he's apologizing for calling me a child. It's crazy. And Cubone's on the pace right to Lavender Town, and that's where we're heading next. What is this? Are you curious, aren't you? What is that machine? It's like a bike. Yeah, I want to know the details. Oh my god, it's a great vehicle that helps you fly in the sky. Secret technique. Pretty much this is the technique for fly, so I can fly from one city to the next. Oh my god, Pikachu learned how to, to pretty much fly a plane, that's crazy. But we've gone back to Lavender Town, as you can hear from the scary music. So that's Cubone's mom? That's right, Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so we can sell the skulls they wear for profit. That is disgusting, it's kind of like real life when they kill off elephants just for their ivory, their uh, tusks. They're trying to rip off the mask on Cubone's face or Marowak's skull. That's disgusting. Anyways, we're gonna go finish off this story here. And I know ghosts are scary, but we're gonna have to run in there, Gary. Okay, so these angry spirits should be revealed now. The guy's freaking frightened. But with my scope, it reveals their true form. They're just gas. Yo, look at the size of that hunter. Oh my god. Easy throw. That's it! That's Ghastly Capture. That was a quick one. Alright, we finally got back to the place we were supposed to be. The ghost is saying be gone, but screw you. Oh my god, it's so eerie. Be gone intruders. Oh my god, the evil spirit is back. But we should scope it out now. God, this one's even bigger than the last one. Oh my god, Gary's so scared. Alright, here we go. We'll peep it out. We'll peep it out. We have the vision here. What are you? Oh my god, it's the spirit of Marowak! That's so sad. He's trying to talk to his mom. The thing is, the Pokemon's not alive. They cut off its head for its skull, and Team Rocket has it. It's disgusting. Oh, it's so nice and so sad. And so creepy for a kid's game. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. But now the spirit is calmed. And now it can rest in that afterlife. Cubone, you, you just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Oh, that's so sad. Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Eric, I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, you think you could go see him too? In the original game, I believe we had to face the restless spirit up here. And that was Gengar. Or, uh, oh my god, Steam Rocket again! How many times am I going to face these guys? What the heck? Or was it a Haunter? I don't remember what originally was up here, but now it's Mr. Fuji. He's ignoring them. I guess we we'll have to take him on one more time. Alright, Arbok and Weezing again. They went to a Pokemon Center, revived them, came back. Alright, let's do this again. Hopefully we'll knock this guy out fast. We use Headbutt. Please end the fight. Ah, oh, he survives. But he did flinch. Oh my 
my god, Pikachu's poisoned again. This is a repeat. Alright, so Pikachu nails Weezing with a Thunderbolt. We're gonna hit both with Razor Leaf. So that knocks Arbok right off, and Weezing's on the brink of fainting. This should finish off Weezing once and for all. That's a Thunderbolt that knocks him right out. And that's another simple, easy Team Rocket defeat. And that again is Team Rocket blasting off again. Don't you think I know what? It will be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphco and Saffron City. That might be the next place we'll head off to after. But let's see what Mr. Fuji's all about. Talk to me, man. Mr. Fuji. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. I didn't really care. I just wanted to see what the spirit was up, but you know. Fuji, so Eric, your Pokedex quest is that one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it'll be hard to complete such a task. So is he going to give me more Pokemon? The Poke Flute! So Snorlax has been sleeping on multiple roads, all right? Now we can get to those cities by waking up Snorlax with that flute. And with that, it's been your boy Eric from EMFC. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pokemon.